Looks like um, looks like someone's made a shrine here, and then up here they've made like what looks like a little den or something. But please, guys, if you're gonna go camp on the beach, don't leave it like this. This is a bloody mess. I've uh, got my bag of rubbish that I'm gonna take out. Always do that. Don't be like these other plonkers who leave rubbish everywhere. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm just out down my local harbour this morning. Uh, just going to go for a bit of a walk and then sort of cook up a little bit of breakfast. Be rude not to. Uh, but the main reason I'm sort of here today making this video is to support the Leave No Trace campaign that's been kicking around YouTube uh, from the wild camping community, bushcraft communities, etc. Just people that like the outdoors, really. And um, it's, it was kicked off by Dan from Camp Life Bushcraft. So if you haven't seen that channel, I'll put a link in the description or one of the little things up the top there. Um, so yeah, just basically this video is just to raise awareness, not necessarily for the people I know on YouTube, so not wild campers, not sort of explorers, that sort of thing. Um, it's more aimed at sort of the general public really, and just people that can't be bothered to take their crap with them. So I'm just gonna head over to the beach and we're just sort of gonna delve into it and have a look. and. Uh, discuss should I say but yeah like I say this is not aimed me personally at any of the people I know because I know you all clean up you take stuff you don't leave any mess so let's crack on I believe I found a nice little spot to uh, start cooking. It's tucked out of the way, the wind. Um, it's quite nice actually, sort of show you around quickly. So, just behind here, you got loads of seagulls over there playing about. And then there's a sort of launching area over there where a lot of the boats and stuff come along. But yeah, we'll get this food on and then we'll have a little chat. So I've um, I've got my little trangier on now. Let's just just start cooking the sausages. But um, yeah, just if you if you're new to camping or you know you're just generally going out and enjoying the wilderness or you know beaches, just just beauty spots really. Just um, you know if you're taking stuff in there and you're making it a mess, just clean it up and take it back home with you, or just take it to the nearest bin instead of just leaving it scattered all over the floor. But it's a weird one really, it's been, uh, this has obviously been going on for years, you know, the people dumping stuff and rubbish being just left on beaches and barbecues that have been used, just buried under the stones and that. But I've noticed since lockdown it's got a lot worse and I can only think it's because people couldn't go on holiday and stuff, so they've all gone to the beaches and stuff in their masses and then just completely disrespected the place, so but why? Why do people do that? I don't understand the mindset. It's it's ridiculous, really. You know, you wouldn't want to turn up to a place like this and find litter just scattered everywhere. So all you got to do is like what I'm doing here. Plastic bag, fill it up. I'm even going to, you know, get some bits on the way back that I saw. And just sort of yeah, just take it out with you really. But I don't really want to have too much of a winch because I don't want this to be a whining video, but it's, it's something that needs to be sort of said and people need to start changing their ways really, that's all it is. Don't leave it a dump. So I'm gonna show you, show you some sort of clips from before. You know, if you're gonna have a fire in the woodlands or something like that, just do it responsibly. 
don't do it in the height of summer when you know everything's super duper dry and don't do it like this clip here where I'm going to show you one that my daughter Ruby found which was in the middle of a pine forest so you can imagine that if that went up and but the worst part is they just left all the all the burnt wood there so it just looks rubbish my kids are playing in that I don't want my kid my youngest kid she ain't gonna understand she's just gonna put the ash all over her so for me I think the most annoying thing in this whole situation with people dumping stuff everywhere and it being worse lately is it just gives us wild campers and you know people that want to explore and enjoy the area it just gives us a bad name and then it sort of get tired everyone gets tired by the same brush in the end then if we all just looked after the place it'd be fine wouldn't it So I've just finished my breakfast now. That's where I've just cooked up my food with my tranja, put all of that away. As you can see, nothing about apart from the carrier bag with all my rubbish in. So I'm just gonna head back to the car now and uh, along the way I'm gonna see how much rubbish we can find and then fill this bag up just to give you an idea of what we're talking about. So I've just, um, just come up to a little wooded area that I usually come to occasionally. I even bring my kids here from time to time. It's uh, just off from where I was having the food a minute ago. So this is an example of how not to leave a place if you're going out and you enjoy nature. Tissue, plastic bags, Looks like human waste down there somewhere. Lovely. Wrappers. Sausage roll wrappers. Someone's had a fire. Left it a complete mess. And then, so someone had a fire here too. Plastic. Chris wrappers. Disposable cups. It goes on, there's just crap everywhere. So. I am gonna do my best to try and clear most of it up. I haven't got a ton of time this morning. I do have to get back home, so I've probably got an hour where I can pick most of it up. Obviously certain things I can't touch. Um, but yeah, don't leave it like that. It's just horrible, it's absolutely horrible. You know what I mean, you come out here, these people should be ashamed of themselves. Whoever done it, you know, you know who you are. But please, don't leave it like that. So, I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna clear all this up, well, the best I can anyway. And then um, I'm gonna head back to the car. Because I think uh, Mrs. Evans will be wondering where I am. So, Thank you very much for watching. Um, it's been really appreciated if you've hung on this long. I know it's probably a bit of a long-winded subject, but it's one that needs to be discussed. Um, this is a tag video, technically, but I wasn't actually tagged in it. It's just a video I decided to do myself because I believe in the ethos. Um, so in regards to a tag, we have to try and think who's done it and who hasn't done it. Um, I'm going to say... Carl, um, Carl Hazard from uh, Hazard Outdoors. I'm going to tag you, mate. You don't have to do it, but you know, 
be nice if you could. I'm also going to tag my good friend uh, Reef, uh, Reef Outdoors, and I'm also going to tag a good friend Ed from, he's got a channel called EC Woodland Crafts, I believe it's called. All of these channels I will link in the description. Um, and yeah, pop over there, see their channels. And you guys, if you want to do this tag video, then uh, please support it. I'm sure you guys have got the same opinion as I have. Um, but yeah, just do your best with it if, if you can. You don't have to do it. But yeah, thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you again on another video. Bye. It just, uh, just gets better and better really. Um, so there's car parks over there where I'm parked and there's a bin literally, I don't know, 15 meters that way. So cars have obviously parked up here and then they've just thrown the crap out the car. So, you know, Stella's, flannel, towel, whatever that is, disposable gloves, wrappers for cannabis, whatever they've had in there, Red Bull. I'll just give up so yeah it's that simple guys I'm gonna bag that up put it in this bag and we'll walk 15 meters that way and put it in the bin job done wasn't hard right catch you later and that's how you do it all right we're all packed up now ready to go this is uh, where my Lavu was last night, all packed away. That's the uh, rubbish we'll be taking out of the forest. I'm going to leave my little stool because it's conspicuous, <laughs> and uh, that's where we had our fire last night. So it's all all cleaned up, and Norman slept between these two trees here of his configuration. He's all packed away and ready to go now.